today we continue unit 8 part 4 lesson 4 phonics and spelling listening 73 listen and point c says s city ice dance Rice. G says J. Cage. Page. Giraffe. Stage. Listen and repeat. C says S. City. Ice. Dance, rice, G says J, cage, page, giraffe, stage. Listening 74. Listen and read. One. Ten dollars. Special dinner tonight. Meat, rice, and vegetables. Fruit with ice cream. Two. Turn the pages of this book really fast and you will see a giraffe dancing in its cage. Three. Come to the ice rink in the city. Meet your friends and learn to skate. 3. Read again. Circle the words with C saying S and underline the words with G saying J. Number 4. Circle letter C that says S and underline letter G that says J. 1. Cucumber. Race. Two. Crayon. Cereal. Three. CD. Camera. Four. Stage. Guitar. Five. Go. Giraffe. Six. Page. Finger. Part five. Lesson five. Skill time. First. Describe what is happening in the pictures by answering these questions. Five minutes for you. A. What reason is it? B. How many characters are there in the story? C. Is the grasshopper walking? D. What is the end giving him? E. What do you think the end is saying? And F. What did you learn from the story? A. What reason is it? It's summer. Yes. And B. How many characters are there in the story? How many? Ah, there are two, The Grasshopper and the Ant, ah, the title of the story. Is the grasshopper walking? No, it isn't. What is he doing? Oh, he is playing the violin. What is the ant giving him? The ant is giving him some corn. And what do you think the ant is saying? The ant is saying, The grasshopper, you mustn't be lazy and must prepare for winter. And the last one, what did you learn from the story? It's good to work hard, it's not good to be lazy. Two, listen and read.
Listening 75. Listen and read. The Ant and the Grasshopper. It was a summer day. The grasshopper was sitting in the sun, playing his violin. An ant walked by with an enormous piece of corn on his back. That corn looks heavy, said the grasshopper. Come and play with me. The ant was tired and hot. He pointed at a pile of corn. I can't. This is my food for the winter, he said. There isn't any food then, so I must prepare now. The grasshopper laughed. Don't worry about winter, he said. It's summer now and there's lots of food. Soon the weather became very cold and there was deep snow and ice. The grasshopper looked for food, but he couldn't find any. I'm hungry, said the grasshopper to the ant. Please, can I share your food? The ant had lots of food and he was kind. Yes, you can, said the ant, and he gave the grasshopper some corn. But next year, you mustn't be lazy and you must prepare for winter. Number three, underline these words in the text, guess their meanings and then check them in the dictionary. Enormous. When something is very, very big, it is enormous. Repair. You must prepare for school. For example, get your school bag ready or your school thing ready. Worry. When you are worried about things, it's difficult to sleep. Share. If you have toys or food, you can share it to everyone. Lazy. If someone doesn't want to work or to study, that person is lazy. Number four, read again and complete the sentences. One, the grasshopper play his. Two, the ant carry some heavy. Three, there is lots of food in. Four, that winter the ant was very. You can fill in the blanks. Part 6, Lesson 6, Number 1, Listening. Listening 76. Listen to this fable and check the correct moral. 1. The Boy Who Cried Wolf Once there was a boy who looked after sheep every day up in the mountains. Nothing ever happened and he was very bored. Two. One day, he ran down the mountain to the market in the nearby village and shouted, Help! Help! Wolf! Wolf! A wolf is going to eat the sheep! Three. The people ran up the mountain to help the boy, but there was no wolf. <laughs> it's a joke! There isn't really a wolf, said the boy, laughing. Four. The people from the village were very angry with the boy. They didn't laugh at his joke. Five. The next day, a wolf really did come to the mountains. The boy was very scared, so he ran to the village. Six. Again, he shouted, Help! Help! Wolf! Wolf! A wolf is going to eat the sheep! But this time, no one helped the boy. No one believed him. There isn't really a wolf, they said, laughing. And then, the wolf ate 
all the boy's sheep. So the moral of this fable is never say things that are not true.